and I'm like, I've been natural for over four years. If I was going to relax my natural hair, why now? Hello, realities. It's your girl, the one and only Afrolika. You know what I mean? Is. You know the vibe. You know what's for me. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. You know, whenever I'm here, I'm always here to give you the tea. Today's video, I'm going to walk you through my natural hair journey with pictures and video showing you how my hair has progressed since I returned natural to this point. I had my big chop in January of 2017. But I think my natural hair journey actually started before January, before having my big chop because I spent months contemplating if I wanted to go natural, if that was the right decision for me, contemplating why natural hair was synonymous to not being beautiful, not being in fashion. All of those things were things I was thinking about. I was also questioning, you know, the standard of beauty, thinking about what I felt was beautiful, did I feel beautiful in my hair? Before returning natural, I did not like to use extension on my hair and I would get a lot of comments about Oh, you're a big girl, why aren't you using extensions on your hair? And that would that, that made me question a lot of things like Why did we attach beauty to using extension? Or why did we attach beauty to what, any other thing that would hide our natural hair? Even if, even in its relaxed state, why did we, why did we as black people want to cover our hair so badly? I was in that phase towards the end of 2016, you know, just doing a lot of questioning and creating my own standard of beauty basically. So in January of 2017, I decided to do the big job guys. <laughs> I was clueless but I did it anyways. What's funny is I cannot remember the date because personally it wasn't, I did not feel it was a big event. I just thought okay yes, I'm cutting my hair. And I'm starting all over but I just like oh, let's just do it so on that that day I called my sister and I told her you know what I'm going to cut my hair she actually thought I was joking I gave her the scissors to cut my hair and she said I was joking because this is something I've always like spoken about I always be like oh I'm going to cut my hair I'm going to cut my hair and because I haven't done it all of those times that I said I was going to cut my hair this time just felt like one of those times I say I'm going to cut my hair and I don't so I gave her the scissors to cut my hair and she was just laughing I'm like I'm going to cut your hair and I'm like yeah do it cut the hair cut it <laughs> so I had my big chop one day in January of 2017 a lot of people couldn't understand why I would cut my hair because I had relatively healthy relaxed hair because I wasn't relaxing my hair so often and I wasn't using so much extension on it i just left my hair to grow my hair was relatively long although my natural hair is longer than my relaxed hair was a lot of people couldn't understand they were like why why did you cut your hair and i was just like i felt like cutting my hair i just wanted to cut my hair after cutting my hair i went into another phase and this phase was my clueless phase guys i did not know what i was doing with my natural hair <laughs> I was clueless on how I was going to take care of my natural hair. If you've watched my video, five things you should know before returning natural. I'm going to link the video up here somewhere. Yes, if you've watched that video, I shared things that I wish I knew before returning natural. Because when I returned natural, I was clueless. I did not know what to do with my natural hair. I did not know anybody personally who had natural hair. It's insane because I'm I'm in Nigeria, a country in Africa where everyone is black and has natural hair. And I could not point out one person that I knew personally that had natural hair. I could not. So I did not have anybody to tell me what I needed to do with my natural hair. I was doing things that I used to do with my relaxed hair. It was kind of difficult for me to take care of my natural hair, obviously. And that is the idea that everyone has, like it is difficult to take care of natural hair. And that is because we do not know how to take care of natural hair. So it becomes hard, it becomes difficult. Towards the end of 2017, I was on Facebook and I stumbled on someone's page. And then I saw her made a post about joining natural hair group since she returned natural and how that has been helpful for her. So I joined the natural hair group called my natural hair babes. That is where I got like basic knowledge on how to take care of my natural hair. So in 2018, I knew that washing my hair once in a blue moon was not going to work. I also knew that combing my natural hair every day was a no-no. In 2018, I also suffered from the effects of texturism like I, when I returned natural, I thought my hair was going to be coily because I thought, okay, maybe after a while my hair was going to be coily like other people's hair that I saw, like, okay, maybe my twist house is going to turn out like this person's hair. Although I returned natural feeling confident, 
I began to feel less confident about my hair because like most of the videos you see online are people like with coily hair I didn't see I did not see a lot of people with my kind of hair and it was just so discouraging in 2018 when I joined the natural hair group I made I started using my DIY black soap shampoo yeah, I started using my DIY black soap shampoo but I wasn't using a deep conditioner I wasn't conditioning my hair and my hair was <laughs> 2019 was the year my hair grew rapidly like I can't even explain it and in a space of six months my hair grew rapidly <laughs> I can't even I, like people who know me would see me be like wow your hair how how did this and I'm like I don't I don't know I can't explain it yes of course I started buying like good products I started buying good products I started washing my hair often I was doing just two strand twist. Those were the things I was doing to my hair. And in the space of six months, my hair just grew like, pff, like a wild grass. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Towards the end of 2019, I was like, okay, you know what? I've been wearing two strand twist forever. I need to, I need to style my hair more. In 2020, I made a post on my Instagram saying, oh, I'm going to style my hair more. I'm going to wear more natural hairstyles other than other than two strand twist because that's like a lot of complaint people have like oh natural hair isn't versatile there isn't much you can do with your natural hair which is a lie january of 2020 i was still wearing two strand twist in 2020 i was wearing two strand twist a lot until the lockdown happened and that was when i started posting natural hair content on my instagram so if you do not follow me on instagram the link will be in the description box and the name will be somewhere here i started creating more natural hairstyles with my hair i was in that phase where i was willing to explore with my natural hair do various hairstyles and just see what my natural hair could do and guys i did so much hairstyles i did so many hairstyles like I did so many hairstyles, you cannot even imagine how much hairstyles I did. I'm going to show you some of the hairstyles I did in 2020. But because I was styling my hair so much in 2020, I started experiencing single strand knots. I had to trim my hair a lot more times than I than I usually did since I had been natural for years. 2021 this year, I I, I became tired with my long natural hair. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but the, the truth is that people with long natural hair want short natural hair. People with short natural hair want long natural hair. Yes, I know there are exceptions, but I was just tired because my fro couldn't fro on its own because of the length and the weight of my hair like my hair did not have a shape to it and these were the things that i really liked like when i saw natural hair that had shape to it natural hair that could like stay in a fro by itself and not fall down to cover one's face april of 2021 i went to blowout palace it's in lagos nigeria the link to their page will be in the description box it was a very nice experience and so when i when i sat in the chair and my hair had been straightening time to trim my hair you know my stylist was like okay, they took a picture of my hair to show me what my hair looked like and the length i wanted to go for this is that picture so they showed me the picture and I showed and I told the stylist where I wanted her to cut and she was like are you sure about this so she cut my hair that was in April when I got back home I was like oh my god why made a costly mistake why did I cut my hair I had like a, a mini panic attack like oh my god why did I cut my hair why did I? but I was so sure when I was in, I was in that chair I was like cut it a couple of months down the line about four months after I cut my hair, I noticed my hair had grown back. Because of how fast my hair grew, I, I, I think right now, I'm in that phase where I really want to grow out my natural hair. I want to see what my natural hair will look like in 10 years. Right now, I've been natural for 4 years and 9 months, almost 5 years. 
so i want to see what my natural hair will look like in five years time like it is something i want to see so this is the first this is actually the first time i'm being like length oriented i have never been a length person all i wanted when i returned natural was just to be able to put my hair in a low bun and once i got my hair in a low bun i was just like not interested in length but now like i really want to like grow my hair out and see how much length that i can get i'm sharing my natural hair journey with you to tell you that it is okay to have phases in your natural hair journey it's okay to have a phase where you want curly hair like you want all your curls defined because that is what we see especially on social media it is okay to have a phase where you can't go out without your edges being laid and sleek it is okay but then again if you take out time to really access yourself and you know try to figure out why you do the things you do to your natural hair and why do you want to have long hair why do you want to have curly hair you know it's a it's a journey if you keep at it you're going to you're going to get to that phase where you're confident with your natural hair in whatever density length texture that it comes in you're going to get to that point where you know how to take care of your natural hair where you don't see taking care of your natural hair as stress or as work people are going to have negative things to say about your natural hair it's a fact and it's crazy because you would think if you have long natural hair people wouldn't have negative opinions but they will still do it's crazy because even at this point of my natural hair journey people still ask me like when are you going to relax your natural hair and i'm like i've been natural for over four years if i was going to relax my natural hair why now like i've been natural for over four years and i've been taking care of my natural hair without any stress why do you think i would want to relax my hair now like why you're going to get negative comments a lot you're going to be you're going to feel pressured to conform to the societal standard of you know having slicked edges slicked hair and all of that it, i would i would advise that you follow people with, with your kind of hair people who exude so much confidence in rocking their natural hair and your journey is going to be easy your journey is going to be easy you're going to smash all of that hair goals you when you get to your hair goal people who have had negative things to say about your natural hair will come to you for natural hair advice i am saying this from experience thank you for watching today's video if you found this video helpful interesting do make sure to give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel giving this video a thumbs up and sharing this video helps my youtube channel to grow and also get all of this information that i share with you to other people and i'm sure you want other people to learn from this wealth of knowledge thank you so much guys i will see you in my next video bye Thank you.